What's up guys, DJ Sterling here, back with another video, and today I'm going to show you the best way to update your Prime Series controllers with Denon's latest beta firmware. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so the first step is going to be to download the firmware, and so you have to find it. Denon doesn't just put it on their homepage. They actually put it in their forums. And so you have to either fi follow their forums or find it on like a Facebook group. So we're going to follow the links until we get to denondjforum.com. And then here's the post they made for version 1.6 beta. And so keep in mind that this is like a double release. Um, Engine Prime is the music management software that runs on your computer. They released a version 1.6 for it, which you should also install, um, analyze the music, and then put it on the controller after you do the firmware update on it. And so Engine OS is the firmware running on the controllers. And so that's actually what we want for the purposes of this video. So we'll click here and then you'll see, um, actually if you go back, they tell you some of the features included <clears throat> in this beta firmware, which is Dropbox integration, beat source link, uh, flexible beat grids, and track preview. So that's all good. And then, so you'll come down to this download section and you'll pick the standalone controller or player that you have. Uh, so I have the Prime Go, so I'm gonna click there. When you click there, you should get this file, primego160update.img. Um, and so this is my USB thumb drive, DJ Sterling, E colon. Uh, you don't want to put this file in a folder. You want it on the root, which means as soon as you open the folder for the thumb drive, you want to sit it there. Don't rename it or anything. That way, when you put the thumb drive into the controller, uh, the controller knows how to quickly find this file and um, attempt to update the firmware from it. Okay, so now that we have the image file on a USB drive, we'll unplug it from the computer and we'll stick it into our controller and then we'll begin the update process. All right, what's up guys, DJ Sterling here. Now we're gonna finish this firmware upgrade on the Prime Go. It's going to be a little dark for a minute just because I don't want there to be glare on the screen. Uh, my USB card is in. You see the green light here, which means this is charging. I have power hooked up to the Prime Go, uh, which is a good idea for the update. I'm going to power it on. Uh, it takes a second. Um, you know, this controller boots up very much like a laptop. Version 141 is what this controller came with. Uh, that's an official release, and now we're going to be beta testing uh, the new features of version 1.6 beta. And so, okay. We're going to press and hold view for two seconds. We get this menu. I'll zoom in a little bit here. And what you want to do is click on utility, scroll down to the bottom, and then you see where it says update firmware, reboot. We're going to click that and then it recognized 160 on our USB drive. We're going to click yes. And it says it might take up to two minutes to finish the process and that's okay. Okay, see so we get some warnings. It says, hey, this is a beta. Don't perform live with this. People do anyway. You're at your own risk if you do. Um, it's not a good idea. But some people just want to use the features before they're officially available. Like maybe you like, what is it, beat source link. Uh, you'll have access to that through this beta. Um, but this really is like an early preview for testing purposes only. So and ta-da, we're all done. This is it. We're now in version 1.6 beta. 
Yeah, so basically that's it guys. It looks like there's already a slightly different layout on the screen. And of course you've got a whole bunch of new features which you can go and test on any of your Prime controllers. Uh, don't forget to also update your music management software to, um, if you're going to use this, to also use version 1.6 beta. Um, that way when you analyze, everything is consistent when you load it up onto your controller with this update. So that's it for now guys. I'm going to get playing with this. And um, let me know in the comments if you've tried this, if, you, if you've had any issues or have any questions or a favorite feature. Um, make sure to plug up your uh, power or your controller is probably not going to update. Alright, well that's it guys. I'm DJ Sterling. Peace out.